Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to play Camilla Cabe's Something's Gonna Give. So in this video we will learn everything about this song, how you can play with a capo, because we need a capo on the first fret if you would like to use beginner chords. After we will learn how you can play without the capo this song and uh, there will be a playthrough part in this video so you can practice with me this song. If you are new to our channel, click here to subscribe and also let me know what other song would you like to learn from Camilla's new album. Now let's talk about the chords. For this song we have to know only four chords. The first one is a C major chord, third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, G open string and first fret on the B string. And we need a capo on the first fret. Don't forget that. The second chord is an E minor chord, E open string, 2nd fret on the A and the D string, G and B string will be open. The 3rd chord is a G major chord, 3rd fret on the low E string, 2nd fret on the A string, D, G and B string will be open. The last chord gonna be a D major chord, D open string, 2nd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string and 2nd fret on the 1st string. You just have to play these 4 chords for the whole song. The plucking pattern in the beginning sounds like this. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I transcribe the piano. So let's start with the C major chord. I pluck the D, G and the B string. After, with my thumb, I pluck the A string, the bass. So the chord and the bass. Chord notes, bass, chord notes, bass. So one and two and three and four and. The, with the second chord, with the E minor chord, I will do the same thing. So I will pluck the D, G and the B string with my index, middle and ring finger. After I will pluck the bass. So chord notes, bass, chord notes, bass. So one and two and three and four and. I will do the same with the G major chord, so D, G and B string with the index, middle and ring finger. After the bass, the G bass, third fret on the low E string. So one and two and three and four and. With the D major chord I will pluck the G, the B and the high E string with the index middle ring finger and with my thumb I'm gonna pluck uh, the D open string. So one and two and three and four and. Let's play the whole pattern all together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's play one more time slower. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. After when the rhythm comes in in the song, I added a strumming pattern. It sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up,
Let's play one more time slower. Down. This is the whole song. Now I will teach you how you can play these chords without a capo. The first chord, instead of the C major chord, you have to play a D flat major chord. It's gonna be a bar chord. The second chord gonna be an F minor chord. The third one will be a A flat major chord. And the last chord will be, instead of the D major chord, it will be an E flat major chord. So, actually you can play the same plucking and strumming pattern with these chords. The chord's gonna be different, but the plucking pattern and the strumming pattern will be the same. You have to pluck the chord notes after the bass. And 4 and F minor. flat major E flat Yeah and now uh, if you would like to use a pick to do the strum it will be the same so down down up down up down 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 up down down up down up So f now you can play the song with a capo, which is easier, or without a capo. Now let's try to play with me this song.
hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Let me know in the comment section what other song would you like to learn from Camila's new album. Give it a like, share with your friends, I appreciate your support. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video. Bye.